Today's video is different. Before I do this, let me introduce myself to you and let's get up close and personal. My name is Phoebe. Others know me, some know me as Ayuli. Some know me even as Fafa. Born on a Saturday, so some call me Ama, some call me Ameli. Um, I came to Germany in the year 2004 at 12 years old. Yes, you know my age, it's correct. <laughs> I came at a very crucial point in my life because at the age of 12, this is where um, the cliques have formed, people have made their friends, sometimes even friends for life. And I come to this strange country, new language, new subjects, new environment, new culture, and at some point too, new parent because I came with my mom and my brother and though I know this is my dad we have not lived together for long I'm doing this video because as I am running this agency the Phoebe way um, we deal with consultancy and with life in Germany we give you tips and coach you on how find your way here in Germany bureaucratic stress some people want to bring their children from ghana to germany some people want to bring their spouses some people want to come to germany to study and i've been here for so long almost 20 years and i've studied here i'm working here i've grown up here so i i'm your best bet literally when it comes to someone who knows both cultures african culture german culture and helps you to understand some things and also at the same time because I'm a legal interpreter for me to be a legal interpreter I have to know the laws so I deal with that as well and when you need a legal representation I'll just really recommend a good lawyer that I've worked with before to you so this is what I do apart from that apart from running my agency I also work as a legal interpreter so this is what I do so this video is because of some of the questions I've gotten and people ask me what do I do I want to bring my family and then I remember how things were for me and I have friends who have also moved here as children so before anything I want to ask you are you ready to be a parent in Germany are you ready to make the sacrifices that you need to make here in Germany for your children. I think that other kids who are watching this, I call us the imported children, because literally we didn't, we we're not born here, we we're brought from outside here from to this place. So I always ask, are you ready? Because it is not just um, it is not just bringing us here and giving us food and taking us to school you have to know the German system before your children come have you asked yourself how was the school system like have you asked yourself am I able to do certain things on my own and I'm not going to overburden the child I'm bringing with a behörden gänge like there are kids that had to come to Elton Bay or go to Elton Bayrat with their parents because their parents couldn't speak German. I understand the language is hard, but are you ready to allow your child be a child? Are you ready to give your child that extra push that normally if your child were to be in Ghana, you wouldn't be giving. For example, here, your child would have to learn how to swim, play the flute or recorder, play a pian play the piano like music um, lessons sports and all of that are you ready because once your child is here i'm not saying forget home but your priority has to change your focus has to shift okay abrasan esibia oye edan esibia oye Contain an ayebia uye. Wobana wahadeno. Open schooler. 
abadu no ye hona no nyine wo fie sa wo ni fie a o be bi oru kwa na mind o stay stimulated ana do you have the weekends to bond as a family to go on trips ana de bi wo kwacha pra na maka so so ko fa na wa be fie do you know that when we go to school on monday and our friends are saying yeah wir waren im schwarzwald wir waren am bodensee what are you doing to support your child that is my question and i feel like sometimes some of our parents feel they when you're not benign to where the fact that you've been brought abroad they have done better for you than they had and that's okay that is true and we appreciate that but on your denim ma babu chino kutsinyi the responsibility the responsibility even becomes tougher when it comes to the quality of abuja and yama bano in germany it's even tougher because of the language barrier and that we as black children we are not represented but as this year is coming to an end to my clients that we are working on stuff together to people are working on bringing their children here as well and people who are even thinking of it and also people who are here and want to have children here i'm not saying that the german way is the only way and the only true way but you have to remember that the people we are competing with are the german children they are the ones that we are competing with okay so to boost our confidence no we wouldn't have to struggle with oh my my name fresh produce they sit under us they have much more keeps keeps very they haven't got my fresh produce watch it in the bread no rob them okay take your time and open your eyes and pay attention to your kids I understand that being a boga is important but being a good parent a present parent a parent who is aware who is giving their child the best of her the wrong is way more important This has been on my heart for a while and I've been able to do it without crying or becoming emotional so let me take my big cup again Thanks for joining me on this Let me know your thoughts down below and we'll be back tomorrow with another advent calendar opening or gift Oh.